but I made up for that loss and I ended the day $69.40 ahead. USA, 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 USA. Okay, guys, if you want to know why I'm chanting USA, you're about to find out very quickly. So just hang on with this video. And but covering last week, in last week's episode of this week's option picks, we picked the Hershey Company. And it started off well. By the end of the day, I picked it on Monday. By the end of the day, I was up a little. I had a $190 strike expiring in May 17th of 2024. And we know right now it's um, January 12th, right? So what happened? I sent out a breaking financial news on Wednesday morning, no, Thursday morning, before the market opened, because Wednesday, Hershey really took a dive. And in that breaking financial news, I let you guys know, look, Hershey took a dive yesterday. I'm negative on it now. If it moves up this morning, which it was up in pre-market hours, everything is fine. But if it's not, I'm letting it go, and I would advise you guys to consider that as well if you're holding on to it. Well, the next morning, Hershey went down, and I sold it for a $187 loss, $187.33. Um, sort of had me down a bit, and I was saying, okay, what am I going to do going into next week? But I just happened to find something already to cover next week. I bought an option today. Actually, well, I, I yeah, I could say I bought an option today, but it was actually 10 of them. And the option was UUP. I bought 10 options. You see here, here's one, here's the other nine, because I set it at a limit price. And by the end of the day, you know when you're buying, you buy at the ask price, but you can only sell at the bid. So as soon as you buy, you're sort of behind. But I made up for that loss, and I ended the day $69.40 ahead. Now, what made me decide to buy UUP, and what is it? UUP is Invesco DB USD Index Bullish Fund. In other words, UUP is a fund for good old America. And I did a video recently, you'll find it in the channel, where I was talking about buying currencies through your regular brokerage account. And I listed the different currencies you could buy, the Japanese yen, the British pound, the um, euro, and so forth, and the U.S. dollar. And I remember that when I did that video and I took a screenshot, the U.S. dollar took a huge tumble a few weeks back. Maybe that's four weeks back. And now here we see uh, just... Um, two weeks ago, it started to move up. Today, it moved up some more, but I'm expecting it to close that gap. So usually when I buy an option, I buy an option on a fundamentally sound stock 
where I can analyze the company and see if the company is fundamentally sound. Well, America's not a company, but I would take a guess that they're pretty decent, pretty fundamentally sound, or at least more fundamentally sound than this drop. I feel they're going to close this gap. So this was my options pick for going into this next week. Um, the Like I said, I bought 10 of them. But if you're buying one, the price is $99.66 for each. And I bought it with a $27 strike price. I bought a call with a $27 strike price and a June 21st expiration. So this is January, and I don't have to worry about this option expiring until June, which gives it plenty of time to do what I feel it's going to do. So, USA, 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 USA. So, you guys can consider that for an option pick. But in any event, this is Uncle Dwayne signing out. You guys have a great day. Have a great weekend.